Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Kha'Zix here in preseason 11. He is pretty damn strong. And uh, instead of going Electrocute or Dark Harvest right now, it's actually better to go Conqueror on him. It's a lot safer, especially if they have at least one kind of tank. And Garen, for this purpose, will serve that. If they are full squishy, then yeah, Electrocute Dark Harvest is the way to go. Otherwise, Conqueror is really strong. First item you're going to rush down 9 out of 10 times is Dust Blade. Super busted right now. If they nerf it, you do have the option of going Eclipse instead. But right now it is just Dust Blade all the way. Kha'Zix doesn't really lose 1v1s early game unless you're getting like kited out or you're fighting a monster like Warwick Olaf. He wins a lot of 1v1s. You can take down Rengar, assuming you're equal HP with your isolation damage. Should be able to wipe him out. You're going to want to start Q and go for a 5 camp clear. You're going to clear all 3 camps on the same side that you start on. That way you can get your level 3. It cuts out a lot of potential risks, threats, and uh, downsides to doing more than a 3 camp clear. Now you can go for a 3 camp clear and then immediately gank. The issue with that is if they see it coming or you don't get the kill, it can put you really far behind. I normally pull out the little one like this. And then I wait to use my smites. That way I can get more out of the hill. I'll use my W to kill the little ones. So auto attack, Q. Use auto attack, Q, reset. Then I smite it. You see I'm still full HP. Even if someone invades me, if I decide I want to gank, which you shouldn't do at level 2 on Kha'Zix, uh, it is potentially an option. I'm going to kite this towards my next camp. Kha'Zix has relatively long auto attacks. And his Q is longer than his autos, as you can see. So you have a little bit of wiggle room to move around with. And just auto attack it, hit it with a W. You want to make sure you're as close as possible when you use your W because if you're not within that little circle, then you won't actually get the healing from it. You have to be close to them, so just keep that in mind. You mainly want to kill the little ones first. Just keep kiting it away though so they can't all munch on you at once. You're going to eat over the wall. I wasn't paying attention to those pings at all. You normally want to kill the, like I said, the little wolves first. Rengar has potential invade options. You see my sweeper? I see he's not on it. And I know he's not in the bush and it's not worded either. Going for a five camp clear on Kha'Zix. Oh, I'll just wait for him. Watch this. He's tanking the blue buff here as well. Uh, I think Lucian's rotating on me. I got the Rengar Flash though, and I should be able to bully him off this Scuttle Crab. I guess he didn't think I was there. The only reason I didn't chase the Rengar was because my mid laner got soloed and I just didn't want to mess with that. I wasn't sure what Lucian's HP was, but I could stay on top of him with my isolation. I'll go gank this. Garen's pushing a big wave. I don't think it's worded either. When you gank on Kha'Zix, you want to come up behind them. I ended up skipping my fifth camp. Because obviously what happened with the Rengar. Oh man, I went in deep. But I don't think it's going to pan out. Now I'm fighting Garen on a seismic wave. Oh my goodness. I'm getting heartburn, dude. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well. We'll, well. we'll farm it up here. We'll take this and then we'll grab our blue since we're already closer to this. We'll just smite it. We'll push in. Ooh, cool. I always love that. I always love it when the uh, top laner is in my jungle using his sums. So we're going to back. Not an ideal start for Kha'Zix to say the least, but I, I mean, it can happen. I mean, not every game is going to be even laners. You coming up getting a beautiful gank. Sometimes the enemy laner is going to be in your jungle killing you. <laughs> uh, I might actually be able to go mid here in a second. You normally want to lean into Red Smite on Kha'Zix rather than Blue Smite. Red Smite's a little bit better. Especially for 1v1s. If they have a weak early game jungler, then you can get away with Blue Smite. I assume this is warded, so I'm going to pop my Sweeper. Yep, it's warded. This Garen's pretty tough. I'm just going to let Irelia do her thing against him. I really don't want to come back and gank. After with what I saw top lane... I'd rather just focus on my other laners. My bot lane seems to be doing well, so we're going to focus on them. Just like with any jungle champion, you want to try to focus on your better lanes rather than your struggling lanes. 
If you gank your struggling lanes, especially if the enemy jungler comes, you're both gonna die. Rather than if you gank your best lane, you'll win it regardless. Which is really good. We're gonna farm down now. And uh, once you have your dust blade, you power spike really, really hard. You have a lot of build options, to be honest. Like even with your boots, you can go steel caps, merc treads, or mobies. If you're really far ahead, I'd recommend mobies. If they're AD heavy, like this game is a. Uh, they are full AD stack armor. Like this is clearly a steel caps game since they're full AD. I'm dead. I hopped over the wall when he was already over here. Uh, Corky might be able to get him. It's hard to say. That was really unfortunate. That is one potential downside to jumping over walls to get to your camps faster is if the enemy jungler just happens to be there on your camp and uh, it may not turn out well for you. Oof. Man, this is rough to watch, I'm not gonna lie. I'll close the distance regardless. Ash isn't moving, she's under turret. Yeah, not not the I won't lie to you guys, this isn't the best start. <laughs> Got him. Nice, nice. We'll farm into our red buff. I really actually rotated, which is kind of weird because she's got a wave under her turret, but we'll take it. We'll take whatever we can get right now. Even though we're struggling early game right now, all we have to do is get our steel caps after our full jungle item and we can carry it. I wouldn't recommend getting boots before your dust blade. Getting boots before your dust blade will throw off your power spike. Just just stay focused on the, the dust blade. Lucian's level 7, damn. It's really early level 7. He's got a lot of kill XP. He's farming pretty well. I don't think this, I think this is first time Corky. He traded our AD carry for bot lane. I'm not quite level 6 yet. I am going to grab this wave though. It's going to keep us in it. If you don't need to go over a wall, just hold on to your E after your first clear. You shouldn't really be using your E to farm after your first clear. You shouldn't need it. You're going to go for Kiwi Ball first into R Evolve. Uh, our wraps are actually coming up, but I want to get around this guy. Kiwi Evolve into R, and then you'll if you're really fed, you'll go E Evolve third. But in general, W Evolve third is better. Got him. I don't even think I needed her to be honest. I had my isolation damage on him, which is, I don't know why she's trying to take that from me, but isolation damage is pretty crazy. Got him, that's awesome, huge, huge shutdown. We're gonna tick each one of these. We're gonna try to hit it with our W. And we're gonna finish off the little ones. I didn't actually get red buff from the Rengar there. I think he's gonna come walk into me, honestly. He can't fight me because the isolation damage will have to be like a full item up. Yeah. I think he's I think he's gonna come over here. I'll wait for him. This is weird that he's not coming over here. Is he, is he AFK or is he just on his blue side jungle? Because this is very abnormal. Alright, here he is. I'm gonna auto attack WQ him. I could have held on to my Q for longer, yes, but. Oh, this Garen is a god. He actually predicted it. Oh my goodness, Garen predicted my flash. I could have laid my pink. I already have one laid though, so I didn't want to waste it. But I should have laid pink to see him. But right as I ran this way, he knew. Because we both kind of flashed together last time. And uh, yeah, he really predicted that. Holy cow, that was really good. Well played, Garen. All right, uh, blue bus coming up in 40. We can head over there or we can just pass straight into mid. Uh, Lucian's still not full item. We are, we got a lot of shutdown gold. We're super, super, super strong. Your W in general, you can save it in close 1v1s to kind of get the healing and surprise them. But in general, it's just better to land it than it is to dick around. So since Rengar didn't know I was in the bush and he's walking towards it, I could just open up with a W, auto attack Q and get off a lot of damage. I guess Corky just ran it down and he got packaged and just I'm still gonna sit onto my R, auto attack Q, auto attack R. I did that to uh, kind of spread out my damage and keep getting my isolation bonus. Every time you go invisible, you'll get your fat Q isolation. Super nice, lots of damage. Not much counterplay for them either. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to max our W second. And then we are going to, uh, like I said, evolve our R second. We're still in this game. We, we had a bumpy start to say the least, but the Kha'Zix's damage is shining through and his clears really aren't that bad. You don't need team at on this champ. I would not recommend that. I want to get these creeps. There's W E there. If you're trying to put out maximum damage at once and just burst something, you can W E and you can cut off the animation of the W with the E. But uh, obviously you're blowing both abilities at once, so you're risking missing both. In that case, I was just trying to chunk the minions and get them out, th out of there. Try and get that golden XP. Try to get down to just the big ones so you can get that fat isolation damage just like that. And you'll be full of health. You really have to use your refills, especially after your first clear. If you're clearing properly on Kha'Zix, honestly, you're nearly full HP. I think Rengar's here. You can't fight me. So it's annoying that he's invading me. Okay, he's not. All right, he's not here. I'm just going to red smite him. Nice. I'm going to R in for the speed up. Hit her with the Q, I want the kill. That's fantastic. Very, very nice. Lots and lots of damage there. I would like to push for Dragon. I need to eat some plants. Rengar could one-shot me potentially if I'm low on health. I'm gonna hold on to my W for the heal. I don't wanna burn it. It's a really, really big heal. I'd like to hold on to that and just stay full HP off of my Q since my, our jungle item, which we absorbed after five smites, is uh, keeping us high health. Yeah, super, super strong. Kha'Zix is definitely balanced right now, guys, JK. He's actually a top three jungle champion right now. As long as you're pathing correctly, doing a five camp clear, three camps on the side that you start, five camps into scuttle, or five camps into gank then scuttle, it's just so, so strong. I would only do a full clear if you know you lose the scuttle fight. So if it's like a Warwick, or an Olaf, you may want to avoid the scuttle fight. Or if you have zero lane prio and you know you're going to get rotated on, then that could be good as well. Your W axe is a faux TM at. It lets you clear up the smaller monsters with ease. The <laughs> the hardest thing about this game is since they've had mid prio like this and top prio, it's just makes it hard to get around the map. I kind of just got to play around bot. I'm going to R to get to him. You can Q in midair, by the way. Auto attack R. Auto attack Q. Got him. That was fantastic. I'm going to go for an R evolve here and shove this wave out. Looks like Rengar's still bot lane. I think, I think my bots got that, though. Nice. Yeah, I can get this turret play. That's fantastic. Just play around my bot. Stay away from top and mid, man. And we got this. I guess Corky just decided he's not gonna. Oh man, I was really close. He just pulled off for some reason. He's like, nah, man, I'm not worried about it. I'm not sure where Garen is. He was topside. He could be on Herald or he could be rotating. So I'll just ping that. Drop a W. Pull it out. Very nice. Yeah, my bot lane is doing fantastic. Fantastic. Ash is super, super fed. I could take that, but I'd rather just back against their team. I guess Garen's not going tank. I could just go Yomus, honestly. I'll sell a refill and get Yomus. Edge of Night would be good too because of Garen Q and Rengar Burst as well. I could soak a spell. Normally, if they're AP heavy, after your Dust Blade, if they're really fed, you can go like Hex Drinker Ma or Edge of Night. If you're just really fed, and you're not too worried, you can just go Yomu's second item, it's really strong. I'm gonna R again. Oh, Rengar fucked me there. For those of you wondering why he was shooting me on my last two invisibilities, Rengar had his R on. Rengar's R is one of the few abilities that can reveal invisible champions, like Shaco or Kha'Zix or camouflage champions like Evelyn. 
So when he had me R, it gave Lucian vision. Well, and plus Janna was healing Lucian and stuff. But yeah, it should have been a little easier than that. Just activated my Yomus to get the movement speed up, staying on top of him. Auto attack, Q ain't going invisible. After out, auto Q. But uh, we couldn't quite pinch it. Just a little bit too much damage there. We're Like I said, we're going to have to wait to play around our bot lane. The Ash and the Thresh. I do think we have the scaling though. I, I'll get my steel caps next. You only go Merc Treads if they're super AP heavy. And if they're really 80 heavy, you can get items like Death's Dance. Since Death's Dance gives armor, it doesn't give magic resist anymore. Death's Dance or GA is really good for that. Oh, dude, my Qs are chunking. I'm coming for this. My Qs are feeling real nice. Yeah, this thing's going down. No, I want it. Uh, they, I think they know we're here. Oh, okay, maybe not. Nice. I love the free invisibility on the R. Oh, I could have lived there. If I would have used my invisibility again as a speed up, I would have lived to... I would have lived that way if I would have just used my invisibility. When Thresh threw me the lantern, I thought he was going to walk back to get me out of the turret, but he kind of just stood there. So either way, I would have lived. I could have lived on my own with just invisibility speed up out. Because you get a huge movement speed bonus. Or, like I said, with the Thresh, if you would have just moved back after your lantern. Either way, it's whatever. You live and you learn. I could have lived. I messed up. Dragon's coming up. I realize all in Lucian. Oof, she lost, dang. She doesn't have steel caps yet. That's probably why she lost that. I'll be going Death Dance. Death Dance is really good since they're AD heavy. Getting that extra bit of armor and fake tankiness off of the Ignore Pain is going to be very nice. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the Edge of Night. I don't think it'll, it's quite worth it since they don't have any real scary like skill shots or all-in abilities like a Warwick Ult or anything like that. I wasn't trying to do that. I was actually just trying to use my Sweeper. It was an accident. They may be on my red buff. They very well could be. No, they're not. Never mind. It may just be on Dragon. Okay, they're not on my red buff, thank god. I did not want to have to deal with them on it. That would have been annoying. Ash just got picked. Garen is huge, to say the least. I'll ping that out. Hopefully Corky comes. I don't know if he will. Still have my Yomus. Can chunk down dragons super easily on Kha'Zix. I wouldn't recommend trying to solo a dragon until you're at least level 4 or 5. Preferably until you have full item. But you definitely can. It just can be risky. Like level level 3 or sooner is just bad. Got another point in my W. I think I just saw Rengar top. Oh, it's pink. Damn. Lucian's still shoving down mid. I'm gonna have to go over there. Rengar's top, Rengar's resetting. <coughs> Lucian's pulling off to the side, that's smart. He knows we're coming from the right side of the map. And I'll attack it, Q it. Hit it with the W once we're up, right on top of it. As close as possible our body needs to be because the W originates from your face. All right, we're gonna run this guy down. Might have been able to kill Rangar. I don't know where John is though. Okay, John is over here. And you can Q in midair, blaster with that. I have one more R. I guess I actually had two more. Auto attack Q W. Nice, nice, nice. With the R evolve, you get an extra one. Super, super awesome. This is Baron. We got three man pick. The only one who can stop us is the Rangar. Uh, ideally, you don't want to be the one tanking it because you do half damage if your Baron's the focusing you. So ideally, Thresh tanks and I do damage. So this isn't ideal, but I do kind of heal off of Baron. Thresh doesn't, and I do. I accidentally wasted my E. I wasn't actually trying to jump there. 
I'm gonna use my Yomus. I'm trying to get out of that area. I should have just recalled with my team. I didn't want to recall late and then just get Rengar Ard. Pop the plant. I don't really need to back. I can't even get full death dance. I mean, I could get chain vest and stuff though. I guess that's fine. I'll pick up the Caulfield's hammer, some armor. I'll pick up a uh, control word as well. Yeah, things are looking good. We're fed enough to one shot squishies. Generally, you don't go for the tanks, even if you have Conquer on Kha'Zix. Now, if they do have serious tanks, like let's say that is Zach Ramus, like two or, two or more mega tanks, then you go cut down. You can either go for the coup de grace or cut down. In general, coup de grace is best, but 10% of the time you'll be going cut down, 10 to 20%. Yeah, these threshold lanterns are kind of funny. Need to heal up off these guys. My Yomus is on cooldown, but it looks like Thresh is trying to make a play. Corky just got soloed. Rengar's going in my jungle like a rat. He can't even solo me is the funny thing. I have a bunch of armor and he went lucidity boots, which is just cooldown reduction. So he doesn't have a prayer of trying to solo me. You just flash the wall, no way. I'm not going to be able to get to him now. He played that really well with his flash. I was actually accidentally canceling my R with my... I was charging up my auto attacks before I was in range and it was bleeding my invisibility. That was really annoying. I kept breaking my own invis there. Oh yeah, Ringer's just running away. Damn. I was hoping he would greet out and stay. Oh, he's here. What the fuck? He's Ring the... Base. I mean, we have double dragons. We're on the path for dragon soul. I do think we outscale them. I will say with with how mid and top lane went, I kind of wish I was just a pill champ, like a tank or an Iburn. That way I could pill for the Ash. Because Kha'Zix, it obviously, uh, he doesn't have any CC. And Corky's doing stuff like this. Shockingly, he killed Ezreal when Jan is there. Like, that makes no sense. I have no clue how that happened. Jan must have not have shielded Ezreal. Like, Corky 1v3, especially when he's behind. Against a Janna, there's no way. But at least he got the kill. That's awesome. Guess I have to give this to Ash. Nah, I want it. She already has slows on her auto attacks. If she didn't, if it was any other AD carry, I would have given it. But she's already super, super nasty with her autos. Garen's just out running me, man. He's fast AF. He's got a lot of movement speed. He has the Phantom Dancer movement speed. He's got the Dead Man's so just fast as fuck. Alright, let's try not to cancel our R's this time. When your Q's are on cooldown, you don't need to all. Like immediately try to break your I don't know, it's weird they just have vision of me I'll be invisible and then they're killing me revealed by enemy turrets or true sight yeah I don't know how they're seeing me I guess I must be Barely bleeding out of visibility as he kills me before I reactivate it. That was unfortunate. At the very least, would you get dragon though? I keep. I, I used my leap on accident. You don't actually want to use your E early like that. You want to use your E as an escape tool in these fights or like as you're killing them and they flash away, you jump on them. But is there already moving at you? You don't need to E on top of them. That was an accident. Total, total accident. I've been playing way too much Zack lately. On Zack, it's a little different. <laughs> it's like I have a Zack E, but it's just a Kha'Zix. Rengar's starting to build a CS lead on us. I'm not able to farm my camps too much anymore. At the very least, Dragon Soul soon. Rengar doesn't even have Sweeper. He has the ward. I guess he's doing that so he can jump out of bushes. Just stand in a bush and lay a ward and go over walls and stuff. But still, seems kind of silly. 
Yeah, they're just running away. They're not really willing to fight us. Ash is huge. If we can just pill for Ash, we win. I think the only reason we went even last fight is because we were on Dragon and it kind of pinched us. I think we should win real team fights though. It's just going to be on the camp. It's probably in the bushes, I'd guess. Nope, looks like he actually pulled back. He's really scared of dying. Even though our team is very AD heavy, Corky is uh does a lot of ap damage with his spells and his passive as well it makes his auto attacks do like 80 percent magic damage so even though our team looks full ad we're actually not far from it they don't have their only ap cha champions jana she's gonna be doing a lot less damage than the quirky is clearly and an r early to kind of get here Stay on the Janna. Tear him up. Nice, nice, nice. It's a if once you have your R evolve, you can use it early. Since you have extra charges. It's really, really strong. Before your R evolve, it's not usually ideal to use it early. But yeah, just remember your R is a huge speed up. I'm gonna go for GA. I could also go for Black Cleaver now that Garen's getting tanky. Oh, we're doing Baron. Why did I back? Holy shit. I didn't even realize we were gonna go for that. I regret that decision immensely. They're just trying to two man it. Fuck. I wish I stayed. That was, that was bad of me. I'll use my Yomus. Got it. Accidentally pressed my E again. That muscle memory is killing me. We're gonna go for the W max. The W evolve second. It's huge for the movement speed slows and the massive AoE on. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm gonna hold on to my W here. I don't know where Rengar is, so if he shows up, I want to be able to slow him and just run away if I want to. I can almost buy my GA as well. Dragon Soul Fight is in one minute. Nice, nice. Rengar's on my camp. He's a little rat. Throw out my W. You can kind of use it to pill. Auto attack Q. Gonna throw out W. Rengar still playing the front. Hit him with a Q. That was awesome. He took so much damage. I actually need this. I actually needed it for the health. Hash is full HP and the red buff will heal me. Plus I heal from hitting it because of my jungle item anyways. So it's act it seems bad for me to take it from her, but nice. Invisibility off of kills and assists. Let's go. Oh, I'm not going to get her. Damn. I kind of wasted my R there. That's fine. I'll just go get the Dragon Soul. We can't end it anyways because they're all spawning. Just ping that off. My R's on a pretty low cooldown. I thought I might have been able to pinch the Janna, but she wasn't going to let it happen there. Once again, with Ka, you can Q in midair. So if you're in your E, make sure you're using your Q on them like a Tristana jump. It works. Nice, that's Dragon Soul, baby. That is GG as long as we don't hyper throw. Speaking of hyper throwing, Ash just got killed on red. I might be able to kill Rengar. No, Rengar pulled back. He doesn't want a piece of this. We have Baron and uh, Dragon Soul, that's so big. Go ahead and pick up our GA. We have a lot of armor. We can pick up a Black Cleaver at this point. Black Cleaver is going to be really, really strong. Since Garen has a bunch of tank items now. I could have gone for a Last Whisper. Is that what it's even called anymore? Yeah, Last Whisper. I could have gone Cedril's Grudge. These names are so janky. 
All R. I can Yomu's R and run him down. Check it out. He didn't see me because I did it so soon. Oh, he actually did. That must have been warded. Was that actually warded? Because I did it super early. I went invisible in Yomu's. This must be warded. It's the only way. Unless it, the minions just barely saw me. I guess it's not even warded. That's nuts. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Nice. Got the Rengar. Uh, we just got to pilfer Ash, get her some HP. Trying to let her heal off of anything. She can have the red buff. I'm already full HP. And she needs to heal off of something with her shield bow. We'll just wait. We'll just wait and fend off this area. Oh, she's still low on HP. I really is scaring them away. She's going in like 1v4. She missed her R and just ran in by herself. Oh my goodness. Got him. I love all the R charges. It's so gross. I have GA. Like, it doesn't matter. That's actually good that he R'd me. Because so I have GA. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If they don't kill Ash, they automatically lose. Mm, I gotta pull back. Shoot out a W. Yeah, we actually have to pull back now. That sucks. You have Kha'Zix's W is really good for peeling, though. The slow is 90%. It's insane. If they're isolated, if they're not isolated, it's only 60%, but still 60% is huge. 60% AOE slow is disgusting. See, I slowed the Lucian. He actually can't chase. Yeah, three R charges, and you get every time you get a killer assist. That is fantastic. Very cool. Where the hell is Rangar? Is he, is, that, is he actually looping around? He may just be going for the Ash, honestly. I think he's just going for Ash. I should ping it, but I kind of want to see if my prophecy is correct. I would have gone for Ash if I was him. Let's just stall the game out a little bit longer. Boom! That's some damage right there. Yeah, Rengar is revealing me. It's... Tragic. Oh, that Q feels good. Nice. Very nice. Ooh. This is so, dude. They need to nerf Kha'Zix. He's just too strong. He shouldn't get invisibility whenever he gets kills or assists. That's too strong. That's way too strong. I hope you guys enjoyed this Kha'Zix jungle guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.